Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing some Halloween nails. Um, I have just decided that I'm going to do duck shape. I was going to do square, but I haven't um, done duck in a while, so I'm just going to do these. I put a, um, a little bit of matte top coat on my nails because I want to be able to pluck these off. Usually when I do a mat, I can like pop them off a little bit easier. So I really don't be posting too many like videos on my YouTube. That's just because one, I'd be busy taking clients. Then I'd be tired. It's like, Trying to balance everything is actually more difficult than some people may think. I'm trying to put these on and not make them crooked. I seem to always do this nail crooked. Oh, don't mind my TV. I be watching Law & Order all the time. It's like my comfort show, and I don't know if that's weird, but it really is. I've been watching it since I was young. I love um, Olivia. She's my favorite. I don't know. She's just so badass. All right, got the tips on. I'm just going to spray them with a little bit of glue dryer. Looks like this. So this glue is, I mean, not this glue, but this spray. Um, if you've ever like done nails before, like sometimes if you try to put the tips on, like it won't stick. I don't know why, but this fixes your problem. It dries glue super fast not just regular nail glue it dries um like resin glue and stuff like that really quick um these are the tips that i use this is from amazon uh if you probably put this company in they will probably pop up they're pretty chill you know i don't have no complaints about them my clients are the get duck tips i bought them more as a like a just in case kind of thing but my clients really don't get duct tips at all. Even though I wish that they would. I wish my clients got like more fun, creative stuff. But honestly, majority of my clientele, um, they work at like business offices and stuff because I live in the banking capital. So a lot of my clients work for the banks. Um, but I have found that like my clients that are remote, my remote clients tend to get stuff that's a little bit more fun rather than clients that has to go into the office. And I know that was one of my most um, hardest struggles when I was working corporate was the fact that like, I always felt like I couldn't um, like dress the way that I wanted to or just like not be me because it's like always going to be me but you couldn't I couldn't express myself by the way that I wear my nails which is like that's what I do you know how some people they do their hair or um other people it's with their clothes me it was my nails so from them saying like oh you can't do this or you can't do that that was like so just looking for my other daffin dish
Okay, y'all. So, we are going to... I'm using, like, this mixture acrylic. Um, I couldn't tell you, like, what color this is because... I don't know. It's a mix. Now, one day... I really am going to try and record myself um, doing a set for real for real so that you guys can see like my whole prepping process but for this video I'm kind of just like in a bad mood to be honest today was like not a good day and I was trying to sleep and I couldn't so I was like, let me go to my suite and do some nails. And usually, like, back when I was in New York, this is what I would do. But see, I haven't been able to do this because um, the place that I'm at now, like the place that I rent from, the owner prefers for, like, the business to only be open during business hours, even though I do have what 24-hour access. Um, you know, I just be trying to like respect people's wishes when they say like, oh, you know, these are the times that I would like for you to be in the building, blah, blah, blah. But, um, today I don't really, I'm not giving a shit right now because I'm like, if I don't go do some nails, I'm kind of going to go crazy because this is what like calms me down you know when i'm doing nails everything else just goes out the window i don't care about anything else it's like the rest of the world is silent so whatever um this color is really nice i also wish more of my clients would get um like acrylic sets because i don't think they know how how good I am at them because everybody sees my nail art and they're like, oh, geez, like, yeah, nail art. But people forget like nail art also includes like encapsulation and 3D flowers and glitter and aqua nails and stuff like that. It's not all just painting, you know. All right. So we got the thumb down. Don't know how long that just took, but whatever. So I've really, I've been wanting to do like giveaways on my page, like my Instagram page or even on um, YouTube. It doesn't really matter. I've just been trying to figure out a way to do giveaways because when I tell you like I have so much stuff, I've been doing nails for five years and over these five years, I've collected so many things. And recently, like, I had threw a lot of stuff away just because it, I was just like, damn, like, I don't like clutter. I get overwhelmed. And at some point, it's like, if I can't get rid of it quick, then I'm going to throw it in the trash. Um, and I even, like, I'll even give stuff away to, like, my um my nail peers like <clears throat> other girls that i speak to if if they can like make the things that i have but i don't use if they can make it useful to them then i give that shit away for free like that's just how i am sometimes i buy stuff and i have like extra Um, or sometimes maybe a company might send me some products or something like that. And maybe I don't really use it, but I feel like, um, my homegirl will, then I'll just give it away. Um, and I really wish I had somebody like that when I started doing nails, but I didn't. Um, when I started doing nails, um... There weren't a lot of people in my town that were doing um, nails like that. Like, obviously, you had the regular ass nail salons, but there weren't, like, a lot of nail techs. Um, but when I really, really started, like, getting into it, it started um, 
kind of exploding all across the world nail text and um what do you call this shit nail art everything it just was like boom like it just exploded so fast in my opinion and obviously like nail art and stuff has always been a thing it's always been here but social media hasn't and it and also not to the capacity that it is today so like these um big brands are definitely able to monetize off of social media much more than like what they ever did before so peep that I peep that. I peep that. I do kind of wish that these were longer. Um, I think I was thinking more about my... I have these duct tips that are um, press-ons. I think I was thinking about those when I put these tips on. But... Completely different length. These are shorter. But it's okay. All right. This monomer I'm using smells like um, fucking. What do you call that? It, call, it smells like fucking perfume or something. This um this monomer i'm using i had actually got this from a um, nail supply store back when i was in albany so what happened was i bought i think it was like a 32 ounce um yeah i think it was a 32 ounce bottle of monomer um and this is when i was still kind of like testing out what monomer i wanted to to go with but usually i think i was ordering acrylics monomer at the time but when when i would like run out i would just run to the local nail supply store and get some but um y'all the no the local nail supplies like the asian nail supplies they be selling um mma and they don't label it so me thinking like oh this is you know just regular no this one had a label though but that's that's the thing this one had a label and it had the label of like oops of a company that in my head i was like oh yeah you know i could use this but then when i when i bought it chow that monomer was so damn fake and it's giving mma as you can see that's why this shit dries so fast and cures so quickly like um but what happened is like i had to get back to them i emailed not emailed i had text the guy because i was always in there so i text him like yo i don't know what like if this is just a bad batch or whatever but this freaking um monomer is like not um this is not ema like i know what i'm using so then he was like oh bring it back blah 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 but the thing is that i had already filled up like a container like one of these i had already like refilled my my container with the monomer but i did bring back like the original bottle the glass bottle that it had came with but the plastic bottle that i had that i had um refilled i still kept it so today that's what i'm using because one i'm using it on myself two i don't really like to waste like my super expensive product on um when i'm doing like regular content like some shit that i'm gonna just take off because that's a waste of money so but i will use it one day just so that y'all could see how it works but for today i'm like i'm just trying to make a video to post on my youtube because why the fuck not <laughs> all right so these are on that took us all of about 
I'm gonna say that was probably like 11 minutes total to put the tips on and lay the acrylic, which is really quick um, and great timing. But if I was using my regular monomer, it would have taken a little bit longer because the acrylic doesn't dry as fast when I use my EMA monomer. Now, some people still use um, MMA and they don't have no, no problem using M MMA either. And some, I know, I even know some um, well-known well -known nail techs, like famous nail techs that use MMA, y'all. And it's not even like, if you're able to, to wear MMA on your hands and you don't have no problem, and your clients don't have no problem then it's like do you you know like i'm not coming for nobody that decides that they want to use it or whatever but i just don't use it because that's what i was taught that it's not healthy for the natural nail and i like to be correct you know as in certain aspects i like to be correct and i like to give my clients top of the line highest quality because i charge top of the line prices so being that I do, I just feel like if I'm going to charge all that, I'm all about saving money. But if I'm going to charge all that, this is my reason for it. You know what I'm saying? I know they be saying, oh, don't, um, don't use acrylic to clean out your brush. I be, I be using it. I mean, don't use acetone to clean out your brush. I do it. Guilty. Because I just don't feel like spending my money on um, brush cleaner when acetone does the trick. But what they be saying, what they be saying is that acetone dries out your acrylic brush but this acrylic brush is my acrylic brush um i sell them on my website and i have had this brush for i'm gonna have to check so that i don't lie to y'all so get back with me i think i probably had it for or fuck um maybe eight or more months I haven't had this brush and I haven't had any problems with it. Um, I haven't had any shedding. I haven't had shedding problems. No, nothing. I ain't have no drying out problems. Like my brush do me just fine. And I've seen worse. But point is, is that it's good quality and I really like it. Um, I. The reason that I chose this brush per se is because I liked the fact that um, this was a metal um, base part. I liked that because I've had other brushes that are um, wooden. I would show you my other one, but it's over there in my pedicure cart. But I have a wooden one. And basically the issue with the wooden one is that like if, if it touches... Um, acetone or any harsh chemical then the wood will start to deteriorate and i don't like that so right now i'm just going to use my my efail to kind of smooth out the nails um i don't really care to use my efail like that but i'm gonna just use it because y'all are here watching me and I don't want y'all to judge. I want y'all to judge my shape. So, putting down the towel so that it catches um, my dust and doesn't get all over my silicone mat because I just feel like once the dust be getting on your silicone mat, in my in my experience, I feel like it's hard to. Um, to get it off i don't like wetting it and then wiping it down that's just too much work i'd rather all the dust just catch on this paper of 
whatever this is, and then just toss this in the laundry. So I'm going back and forth with my um, e-file. Nothing special, I'm just trying to smooth it over, really. I don't want it to be too lumpy. As many people may already know, the key to not having to like file too much is to have a really good application. So um, when I am doing duck nails, I tend to like my nails to have like a little flare, so to say, like right here. Some people call it flare. Some people call it a moon shape where it kind of goes like that, like a has like a little C cup or something. I feel like I could show y'all better than I could tell y'all. All right, so now it's all smoothed out, right? But I don't have that little It kind of makes it look like a, a fish tail or a mermaid tail or whatever you want to call it. And I like it to be sharp. Like that. Like that. See? Do you see what's going on? Like that. Simple. And I'm not going to, um, really use my um my my nail file because basically I be feeling like when you do that it kind of takes away from the shape of the duct tip now some people do and they do a really good job but I don't have that skill so I have to do it with my e-file. I'm better at shaping it with my e-file and then just buffing, buffing it to be smooth. And then that does the trick. But I've seen people use their e-file and like shape the whole damn duct tip perfectly. I'll be like, wow, beastie. I can't do that. Can't do that, my boy. So I am using my, what drill do I have? Uh, Power 35K. I think this is a Manny Pro. Um, There's this nail tech out here in my city. Um, when I had made a post and I was asking people like, oh, what's a really good, a really good e-file because mine's broke. <laughs> Um, he told me this one, so I went ahead and bought it. And he was right, too. Like, this, this, um, this drill surely be doing is big one. I always be getting, like, a little nervous, like, damn, I hope this drill don't fucking die on me. But I've had it for... I think two years now and I haven't had any problems with it which I think is great because in total I've probably done like over a thousand a thousand acrylic sets with this damn um, drill and no problems this is another reason why I kind of wish the duct tips was longer because once you make it this shape, it gets a little bit shorter. 
<clears throat> so now I'm kind of like second guessing the design that I was going to do because it's just like I wanted a little bit more length. Just a little bit. Oh, yeah. See, I um originally I had wanted to be like going live and recording this at the same time so that like I could have um people other people talking to keep y'all entertained because I'm one of those quiet um nail techs like once I be getting in my zone I do not be talking and I used to, I used to like be able to talk and like do nails at the same time. I mean, I can, but it's just that it slows me down. And I guess like when I'm actually working, um, especially in a salon setting, when you're working like time, you don't want to play with that. So anything that can take away from your time, you got to kind of nip that in the butt. And talking is like one of the main things where it's like, girl, don't be doing too much of that talking because you got to get these nails done. Like, And I remember um, I used to have clients who would think that... um it was rude or whatever to like not be speaking but it's like at the same time you want to be in and out so it's like i can't sit here and be all chitty chatty with you but also be like moving like speedy gonzalez because that's just not me i could multitask but not that damn good Especially if the story started getting juicy. It's just the fact that like you slow down. Like you might you might gasp when they drop the tea or I don't know, like when you're tr when when I'm speaking, like I don't know. I just I'm also animated as hell, so I gotta do all these fucking facial expressions and if I got to act out the scene to make sure the story is getting across correctly, I'm going to do that. So it's just better if if I don't speak. TBH. But sometimes I can. Sometimes I can. So usually like if I'm live, which is not often, but if I am live, it just helps because um, it's like my um, people, my viewers, they'll be like asking questions and stuff like that that I can respond to. Usually it has to do with like what products I'm using or how I got started, stuff like that, which is a hell of a story. And you know, I, I honestly... I have never told, like, my story um, and how I got started doing nails. Like, the the true, true story of how I really ended up in this shit. I mean, obviously, one day I just picked up a damn brush like, yo, let me try this. But, you know, there's a story that, the story that everybody gets because of course they ask this question all the time like oh what made you start doing nails so it's like you know you you have that one story that you tell everybody ah oh y'all my hand is fucking hurting from holding it this way it's not even like if i do my own nails usually like it's it's fine i don't get too much cramping but it's like i'm trying to hold it so that y'all see it as well 
I want to stay in, what's this shit called? Stay in something. And it's fucking hurting my hand. Anyway. In two ways. Um, I was talking about, oh yeah, life. What's crazy is when I um, had first started doing nails, like, I used to have the issue of laying my acrylic really thick. Not to say an issue, but, like, that was just my style, like, <clears throat> thick acrylic laying. And now I've kind of, like, transferred over to, like, more of a slender, slim look. And I don't know if... What the hell? I don't know if that's my style now or just like something that I've kind of been pushed into because the aesthetics of nails is like constantly changing. Like what people like and whatnot, constantly changing. And so with with that as being like a, a service provider, as the styles change, it's like to accommodate is like the look of my work changes with it. But I don't know if I like that so much. Actually, I think I don't like it. I think I just decided. Because I like my work to stay what it is, you know, do nails my way. Learning new things is always good, but I never want to change too much to the point where it's like, that could be anybody's work, you know? Another reason why I've been contemplating, like, um, how I'm going to kind of move back into, like, doing nails that are more my style. Because everybody has a style. Every artist has a style you might not know it this is something that I learned back when I was painting and I was doing like murals and shit um this one girl back in my old city a very dope muralist and she was telling me um that like you know you have art style and I was saying like you know I don't know what my art style is but I was just starting out back then but as I've progressed Ah, one fucking part is pointy and the other part is like, mm -hmm. fucking bullshit. I'm pissed. Um, but what I was saying was, um, the girl, there we go. Um, the girl I was cool with, um, and we used to paint together is like, basically we're talking about, um, painting styles and art styles and stuff like that. And I know that, like, my personal art style is um, loud, colorful, um, for sure. And my style um, has kind of always been that since I've been young, even when I express myself with, like, clothing and whatnot. Um... I remember when I when I was younger, I moved down south for like a year and some friends had asked me like, yo, why are you always so colorful? Like I would have like mad different color bracelets on and stuff like that. And I just was like, I don't know, like <laughs> that's just me. All right. 
smoothing these a little not too much because i'm just gonna pop them off but i want them to be smooth for the nail art so now we're on 35 minutes right now so basically if we were to double that as if we were doing another hand we would be on an hour and 10 minutes of the set and the client would have their full set already done and we would be moving on to designs and depending on what designs they're getting depends on how long the remainder of you know your service is um most designs i uh give like a minimum of 30 minutes max because usually most designs not to say that they're easy but they can all be done within like a 30 minute time span, no matter what the design is. I think the only, the main designs that like actually really, really take a long time are those damn 3D flowers. 3D flowers, sculpting, anything like that. It's gonna take some time if you're, if you're doing it the right way or if you care about how it's gonna look. I'm not gonna hold y'all. I don't even care to do the um the design that I was gonna do. I feel like my knuckles need to be cracked. So now I'm spraying with alcohol. This color, this color is cute, y'all. This is a blend of like multiple nudes that I get to like the bottom of the ow. I get to the bottom of the jar to the point that there's no return. And it's probably only like this much acrylic left. And I always just dump it in that jar. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Couldn't tell you what this color is. It's a mixture of a bunch of shit. So yes. Um, I use alcohol. And sometimes I even use acetone. To cleanse my client's nails. Before nail art. Usually I use alcohol. Sorry I'm excited. And I'm talking really fast. And I'm breathing like i just ran a marathon but what i'm saying is i'll use alcohol to cleanse the nails but sometimes you have clients where you have like excuse me hold up <coughs> excuse me you'll have like a lot of crusties around the side of their nail like stuff like that right here like that or like this so but sometimes it's like a lot especially if you're one of those people who when you're applying acrylic you do this because i do that sometimes like i love to like clean up the cuticle area but when you do that you do like a little a little smear of like acrylic and mono mixed together so it leaves like a cast along the cuticle area and if you don't want that see how cleaned it with um acetone and now i ain't got no acrylic stuck in it it's like a baby smooth like a baby but um yeah if that's the case then i use acetone and you use one of those lint free wipes and you just go across the cuticle area and all of that like dust and stuff that be sitting alongside the cuticle area it goes away um so guys i'm not gonna hold you i don't wanna do these nails with this design no more because 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 i'm a punk but i gotta do it anyway because i said i was gonna do it it ain't nothing too crazy anyway it's just invader zim um so we are going to use we need a green I'm gonna use this mint green color, I think. And then, I think I'm gonna mix it, depending on how green this is. So I'm gonna use this, this green, and then I'll put oh, oh wow. I think I'm gonna mix it with that green. And then I need a purple. I'm gonna use, I'm, I'm gonna use, oh, okay. I don't want that purple. I'm gonna use this purple. It's my favorite purple, but it's not really the one I want to use. But I don't have. Uh, I'm gonna just use this purple here. 
and that's kind of it um this is a set that's oh wait i said i was gonna do one nail that was gonna be glitter But do I have a green glitter gel? No, I don't. And I don't. And I was supposed to do one nail. One of my nails was supposed to be a glitter green. And I forgot because I was over here talking to y'all. And so I didn't do it. And now, oh, I think I have this green. There we go. So I'm not gonna use these. Y'all, y'all made me um forget about my glitter. Y'all made me forget. Y'all made me forget. Hey. It's okay though. Alright, so now that I'm looking at this photo. Go ahead and put this color on. I'm going to do the whole nail this color. This is a color by Valentino Company. And it is the color number 108. Um, I have I have one of his um gel, like full gel line collections. I have one of them because he dropped two. But I only have one of them. Um, would I buy it again? I would, but it's crazy expensive. It's crazy expensive, and but it's also like it's done me good if that makes sense. Like, I don't regret buying it because I have not had to like invest in a bunch of colors throughout these two years like i've been okay with just using the colors that i got from this company i usually have like a little um dabbing dish of acetone uh, to clean around the cuticle area because I really I like my nails to look as clean as possible I am not a fan of like stuff being like you know what I'm saying like all up around the that shit is so not clean to me I don't like it I don't like it, I don't like it. I don't like the way it looks. It looks stupid. So, um, people have probably seen this design before, which I'm pretty sure of because I found it on Pinterest and I put it in like this little Halloween um, folder up here so that if people want inspo for Halloween nails, they could just go up there and look. But I was just like, well, let me choose something from there. This is the nail that was supposed to be glitter. I could still do it glitter, but then it would be like a sugar nail, which I don't want because I want it to put um, a design on top of the glitter. So I wanted it to be a gel so that when I do the design, it could like run over smoothly. But now that I'm looking in my little collection of gels, I don't even have freaking, um, I don't even have a glitter green. So F my life. And yeah. French in it. Mm. Oh, trying to get this to look good, good. But, 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 
Um, hold on. There. All right. Curing that for 60 seconds. And then I'm going to, of course, I'll start my character at the same time because I be lazy. <laughs> I be getting like, I be getting like tired and I be wanting the character to be done already. But to be honest, y'all, it takes like, 25 to 30 minutes to do a character. Um, depending on what the character is. I think the easiest character I've ever done might be the Simpson. Um, Bart, Bart Simpson or any of the Simpsons. I think the wife is the most difficult because she's the only one with hair. but i don't have that problem with um any of the other ones all right so i'm also about to do his little head and his head is like a a hexagon or something like that so Because this color is so light, so light, I am going to do two coats. Now, usually with this company, I don't have to do no damn two coats, but it's like anybody could say like omg we're one coat coverage this company for the most part they really are one coat coverage but there's always those certain colors that you have no choice but to apply thin and you have no choice but to apply it twice because the color is either like so bright or so soft that you're not gonna get far if you don't um like do the damn thing twice you're gonna be looking you're gonna be looking crazy or your client's gonna be looking crazy now another thing is i am gonna do aura nails and usually if i was doing aura nails i wouldn't do um two coats either because for the most part the the first color that you put down a majority of it is going to get covered with the second color that you add but i feel like this color per se was just like a little too patchy like there's no way i'm about to sit here and not do two coats of this shit also i hope um youtube don't um take this video down because I done dropped a couple F-bombs and other words throughout this video. <laughs> Go ahead and do the thumb. I really hate that like the thumbnail for these press-ons is like nice and long and then the rest of the tips are like shorter. That really irritates me. 
because this is the length that I would like all of them to be, but that's not the length that they are. Now, how can that be fixed is to actually like take the, um, I could one, use different tips or I could take uh, the thumb tips and like kind of like cut them to fit the other fingers. But I wasn't thinking about that when I was putting them on, so. I really don't want to do Zim's uh, face twice, though, I'll tell you that much. So we're just going to add more gel and hope that it doesn't wrinkle when we put it in the light. Head is not that pointy. His head is not that pointy. His head is not that goddamn pointy. Now you wildin'. There. Dragged it. Don't mind me, y'all. I got a little bit. A little bit excited and started doing too much with my boy's head. This part is supposed to be over more. Something like that. <laughs> All right, dry that for another 60 seconds. And then we take out the black liner gel because that really makes up majority of the character. Um, Cause most of his body is about to get drawn out. Then when I promise y'all I don't want to um I don't want to use my airbrush right now but I got to because to, I mean I don't have to but in order for the purples to be the same I have to because if not I would just use my um what is that shit called I would have just used my pigment powder but the pigment powder it's not gonna go over too well if I use it with the character because I would have to like isolate it a little bit too much. So here we are. Now I am using that is black. Uh, this is from a uh, nails nails by Dev Company. Cleaning off my liner brush real quick, and we're about to go in and just like do zim like body and stuff like that real fast so that I don't have to think about it because I really don't I really don't feel like doing it. <laughs> I really don't feel like doing it and I've already committed so I gotta stick it through so let me just go ahead and make sure y'all can see hold on make sure y'all can see while I sit here and do this little masterpiece real quick all right so I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna outline his head I'm using a nine millimeter brush by the way so now we are um, outlining his whole face. Na, 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 na. I just wanted her to like me. And she needed to solve her case. 
Alright. Alright. Alright, now we must do my boy's mouth. Go like this, something like this. And something like this. His eye goes into his mouth. So yeah. Then it goes up like that a little bit. And then um like this. Because his other eye is about to come through like this. And then it goes like a little thing right there. And then it's going to go like this. Like. Ooh, the drama. The drama in this show right now, y'all. Jeez. You know what, y'all? Rollins, I love her. But Rollins was always in something. Like, girl. Get it together. Stay in trouble. She stay in trouble. Now listen. Zimmy Zim. Zimmy Zim Zim. Zimmy Zim 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 Zim. Oh, I think this is ears. I've never seen this show a day in my life. Uh, yeah. So if you wonder if I'm winging it, the answer is yes. The answer is yes. Uh, this doesn't really look like him, but it's okay. Because his head is supposed to be much bigger. Much, much bigger. But what happened is the nails is so freaking short. The nails is so damn short, y'all. That is just like. And why he look like this? Now I'm really, I am just curious all around the board about this damn thing. Like, what is this? He looks weird. What is he? An alien? Obviously, he's an alien. But, like, what kind of alien? What kind of alien is this? Nobody gonna tell me what kind of alien this is, is they? I gotta look him up. Let me see images. Ah! Wow. Interesting, interesting, interesting thing it is. Interesting, interesting, interesting little. Hold on. It was trying to help. But his fault is 
she got cold feet. I feel for her. I really do. But she needs to testify. After the trial debacle, she's the only one who can put shot at the scene. She won't cooperate. Then I'll have to call her as a hostile witness and compel her testimony. Because this isn't about Melanie. It's about her daughter. We need to get justice for her. I whatever the fuck this is i'm sorry y'all i don't know this 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 character like i don't know this character from a, a hole in the wall i told you i don't want to do this from a hole in the wall i don't know in the rhythm but i know his eyes is about to be purple and i know that this is my favorite purple That's what I do know. <sighs> we almost done, y'all. Anyway. All right. I really don't be letting it cure all the way when I'm doing characters. I just be, like, hoping for the best and praying that it doesn't, like, um, what do you call it? Like, uh, wrinkle. But I be impatient when I'm doing characters because you have to, like, oh, shit, my bad. You have to keep carrying and putting it back in and carrying some more, putting it back in. Like, don't nobody want to do all that, man. Nobody feels like doing that. I, now we got to put some color in his outfit. Mm -mm -mm. Like this. Like this. Boom, 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 boom. Like that. <clears throat> and dry it again. And. Hold on. I gotta fix his ear. I don't like this. It's supposed to be like this. now i'm about to fill in his um mouth all right this character is not that hard either um first time doing him and something that's funny is like majority of my characters that like my clients um be asking for a child i have never done them before or like never seen the show or something like that and then i just like wing it but what I will tell you, I cannot draw everything. And yes, there has been times that people have contacted me and say, oh, hi, I want this. And I will literally tell them that is not, that's not me, boo. I'm so sorry. I can't do it. And I'd rather tell them that and, and recommend somebody who can do it than to sit there and like pretend that I can when I know that I can't and then have them unsatisfied once they leave my, my chair, you know, like that's just something I don't do. I ain't with that. I ain't with that at all. I ain't never been a fan of like taking somebody money knowing damn well that I couldn't give them what they wanted or something like you know? I don't play like that but most importantly it's like I know what that feels like because I used to get my nails done um 
a lot when I was like in college and um that's one of the main reasons that I started doing nails in the first place is because people were um I was going to the nail salon and I would tell them like oh you know I want this or whatever and the ladies would be like oh okay but then you you turn around and when you finish your service you are not you are not happy you are not satisfied with what you have because it looks absolutely nothing like what you asked for I know what that feels like and that's just it's not a good feeling to know that like hey you know I have to you don't have to like spend your money you could sit there and complain but then i'm also not the type to be like at the end of the day you still worked and not to say you did your best because i don't really know if you did your best but i'm gonna assume that you did your best and that's just not in me to to one go back and forth with somebody or make anybody feel like you know they don't deserve to get paid based off of whatever you know that's just not me now some people some people will that ass not pay you if they don't like that shit But to avoid like a situation like that where a client is like, OMG, I don't like this. That's why I do consultations. That's why I ask clients, what would you like? Things of that nature. Now, I would prefer to do more freestyles. Obviously, I'm confident in my work. I know that my work is good and whatnot, but we everybody don't have the same style. So with that being said, it's like, one attracting the kind of clientele that fits that fits your style opposed to like trying to maneuver and bend and shape the way that you do nail so much to fit into like every everybody's like preference of what they like or what they prefer because child it's impossible to sit there and be like oh yeah like Just because you can do something doesn't mean that like, I don't know, just because you know how to do it or just because I know, ah, it's coming out too strong. All right, what I was trying to say before I was interrupted was just because I may know how to do something does not mean that it's going to be enjoyable. Like, oh, you like art, so you should enjoy doing this. Like, no, I don't. And I think that that is completely okay to feel that way. To not like everything that clients bring you. Now, am I going to do it? maybe honestly it depends because there has been times that i have told my clients child i'm not doing that because because no some stuff they just be asking for be outrageous and then some stuff that they ask for they already they've already gotten and it's like they're trying to make me do repeats and if it's one thing i hate more than doing something that i think is not appealing it's doing something that i already done did or that you just got last time that really drives me crazy unless it's like oh i get one color acrylic and i'm just gonna get a fill with the same color you know that's cute that i could do and i tell y'all 60 seconds really be taking forever like damn i'm using my airbrush right now the key to like a good airbrush is don't hold don't pull back too hard on your um your nozzle thing like i call it a trigger but 
I don't know if that's what it's really called, but just don't pull too hard. Don't pull back too hard on it, you know, just go slowly and move your airbrush around and the color will start to form. You don't have to do too much. You ain't gotta do too much. I always try to clean out my airbrush as much as possible to um to um avoid like it getting clogged and stuff like that yes i airbrush with my gel polishes i know what they be saying omg your lungs it's okay i'm all right but too much of it i think it definitely will get you high so be careful definitely take breaks i'll be turning my fan on if my clients aren't here i'll turn my fan on i will not like airbrush the whole set like boom 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 like if i'm doing like all 10 fingers i'm not doing that i might do like three fingers and then move on to the design you know like you gotta pace yourself and make sure you have an air purifier and things of that nature so this is what we got right now um what's next let me see invader zim do you need anything we need to do um his little eyes he got some light purple eyes well his eyes are dark purple but he has like light purple what the hell is that a pupil hmm pupils mm -mm. hear that boom all right then i think he's done yeah so now it's just a little spice being added to the set that i'm looking at she did like some charms yeah. and some charms charms and like um these little silver things. I'll show y'all. So for this part, I'm going to be using this um, metal molten gel by the company Sissy. I think that this company is um, from the UK. I swear 60 seconds be taking forever. Somebody needs to make gel polish that cures in 10 seconds please please <sighs> all right now clean this up all right ah. all right boom see this right here this right here i love it I don't use it much but i love it all right so now we're gonna do some lines nothing too crazy nothing too crazy gonna go like this the key to line work you guys is pressure <laughs> don't know what you thought i was gonna say thought i was gonna drop like something major like no y'all is really simple pressure the harder that you push down on the brush 
the thicker your line is gonna be. If you are very light with your brush, thinner your line will be. It's like, it's so easy. Some people think like, OMG, line work is so hard. I'll be like, chill. You get yourself some practice in and you're really gonna be like, wow. Looking at yourself like, damn, I used to struggle with this. Boom, boom, disco, disco, boom, boom, disco, disco. Um, I think I will do some of these things. I don't know if I want my kid to go to private school. I mean, I went to public school and I hated it very much. And I do want the best for my kids. I don't have kids, by the way. I'm just speaking hypothetically. I want the best for my children or child. But, you know, I'm more concerned about the treatment. I'm concerned about the treatment that that goes on. School is already hard enough, so I really don't have time. I'll be in somebody's. Y'all know what. Y'all know where. I would end up. If somebody play around with my baby. So I don't know. All right. And then we just keep going. Uh, Wildin. Some kids really be tripping the way they be talking to their parents. And if you are a younger person watching this, y'all better cherish y'all parents because there's a lot of people out there that don't have no parents. That don't have nobody. So think about that before you go cursing out your parents and telling them those um three harsh words because that's gonna stay with them just how it will stay with you if they said it to you that's one thing i can't stand is um you know not being conscious of the things that you say to people and then Especially when people be stubborn and then they be like, oh, I wish I could take it back and now it's too late. Mm, don't do that. Like, Be mindful of what comes out of your mouth. Because words are powerful. Very powerful. And I wish more people took that into consideration, but they don't. Alright. Sorry, y'all. I had y'all watching from afar and shit. Y'all watching from afar and shit. Ah! Alright. I'm going to put that up there. So now we're going to dry it again. And. um, Now we're going to add some charms. I have some stars. I have some chrome hearts. Obviously a spaceship. Because I think that this character is an alien. He's given alien. 
and now we are at one hour and 20 minutes we have one hour and 20 minutes hey. and we have done one hand acrylic set with one character and a design on all fingers we eating the girls up y'all we eating the girls up with the timing and talking <laughs> forget about it I'm hungry. Mm. Y'all know one of my favorite places to go is called TCBY. It's a, it's a frozen yogurt place. I love it so much and I wish it was open, but they're, they're not. All right, let me get these charms. So, we're doing silver, obviously. I'm gonna get some of these and I'm gonna get one of these um planets planet 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 ink 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 i want to do this color because it's mad fucking cute come here come here boy this one <laughs> oh isn't that so cute oh i love it yes yes if I had a purple one, I would I would have said purple, but I don't. Um and I'll do like this maybe. If I were you, I'd say yes. Yeah. If I were you, I'd say yes. One, two, three, and one more for the thumb. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I'm gonna use these. What's up? What's up? Been a minute since we caught up. Why well, I gotta worry about this fake stuff straight up. What a waste of my day. If I had it my way, I'd roll out of bed, say, about 2.30 midday. I'd hit you up then, something, something. To come over to my place, we make love and then we, and then you give me my space. Yes. Sing it, Janae. Mm -hmm. We should make, we should make, we should make it. Yeah. Oh. Dun -dun 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 -dun. All right, all right. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. Babe. 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 Tell me. What you been thinking, girl? All right, all right. Like that. And then this little baby, he about to sit right there. Like, hey, y'all. I'm a planet. I'm a planet. What's up? Ah. Uh. Did to you is rape. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I walk a little faster in the school hallway just to get next to you And sometimes I spend a little extra time in the morning just to impress you I am a Disney kid, y'all It's my shit
loved Disney. Really, really did love Disney, y'all. And I don't know. <laughs> Disney been doing a little much lately, if you know what I'm saying. All right, we just freezing those real quick. You don't have to like put it in for the whole 60 seconds, but I just freeze it so that when I like put my charms on the thumb, it don't act crazy and like slide all over the damn place because that would piss me off. So like that, add a little bit more charmy charmies and boom, like we in there like that. Boom, boom, boom. So now we're just going to put this in for 60 seconds and carry it all the way. Um, and then start putting the stuff that I didn't use away or did use away, whatever. So when I'm taking clients, this is something I do too. Like while they drying, I put my shit away because I just don't like clutter i think i said that already oh this is the the um gel that i am using to it bears to be recording this is the gel that i'm using to um put my charms on really popular i'm sure y'all haven't seen it So now, put the charms away. And it's time for top coat. Um, off this, mm, off this, um, off this mother, um, off this mother. Um, this is incorrect. 107, oh yes it is. Everybody loves this part, y'all, because it's so satisfying. All right, so I know I have it in this bottle, but this is not not polished. This is Koopa Top Coat that I'm about to um put on. This be Koopa, y'all. Koopa is my number one favorite um top coat. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Koopa. Koopa top coat is one of my favorites. Um, it's not too thick. Um, and it's super shiny. Now, this one top coat that I really want to try one day when I get some more money. And I think when I try him, I'm probably never going to go back to nobody else. Is this guy, Tino Vo. Um, if you know him, you know him. And if you don't know him, you probably don't see his work and just don't know his name. But he is a very good nail artist. And um, he's funny as hell, too. And he has these products. I've been dying to try them, but my boy is not. Oh man, I didn't put no charm on this finger. Like, why would I put a charm on every finger and not put a, um, no charms on this one? Like, a damn Palooza head. Like, what's wrong with me? But anyway, he's got um a lot of good products, but more specifically, like he has this top coat where it can just do like so many different things. Like a lot of his products are, I'm not going to say universal. I don't know if that's like the word to use, but multi, multi something, multi use. I don't know the word I'm looking for. Just you can use it for a lot of different things. One product that fits under the category of being able to be used for different things. All right, cure that for 60 seconds. And then, of course, I'm not going to not put no, whatchamacallit, 
on the the character so i'm gonna have to go and get some more charms i knew i was missing something i knew it and you know what's crazy after i um put the top coat on i feel like the color of the um of the purple got lighter I know something. I've definitely opened this the other way before. Shit was not fun. I like this um, nail design. What drew me to this? Um, I think the colors and the the vibe um, definitely fits me. It's like edgy, um, which is definitely my. This is like my my style when it comes to the way I like to dress. Like these definitely fit it. So now we are just going to use some cuticle oil and I'm going to use my new cuticle oil guys that I have on my website. It is a seasonal cuticle oil. I have two different scents. One is pumpkin spice and the other one is toffee crunch. I'm going to use my pumpkin spice one today. It smells so good. Uh, my friend, she don't like it because she don't like pumpkin spice. <laughs> and um, I let her smell it and she was like, mm -mm, I'm sorry, I can't get with it because she really does not like holiday scents. She says she like more of like fresh linen and fruits and shit like that. I like that too in my house, but I don't know. I love the holiday season. Like I love Halloween season, Thanksgiving, Christmas. I think it's just the festivities and the creativity that comes along with the holiday season. I feel like that's why I like it. All right, so we're done, but now I'm just gonna add some cuticle oil. Okay. So, this is my new cuticle oil that's on my website. It is pumpkin spice scent. Smells so good. Oh my god. I freaking love it. So, we're going to put this on. Do, do, do. Rub that in. And by the way, so... I should have did this before I did the cuticle oil because I want to take pictures of my nails. And I'm not about to let them look crazy. But um, if you look on like this nail right here, I have like purple gel like stuck on around the cuticles from when I was doing airbrush. You can do it the way that I'm doing it right now is just buffing it away. But another option is if you, um, after you top coat, you get some acetone and you just kind of like do the same thing that I told you to do. If you had like those acrylic crusties, you do the same thing again, but you might have to wipe a little bit harder if it's um dried, if the gel is dried, but you can also just wipe it before you put it in the lamp which is easier you know you you wipe around it with like a brush like use a brush like this after you do the airbrush you take um dip this in some alcohol or acetone and then you would just go around the nail like this with um the acetone and then it would like clean clean that up so that you're not having like the the purple now, if I wasn't taking pictures of this, like, to post on my page, I would have just left it. But presentation matters. So I'm trying to get, like, better with being so careless when it comes to the way that my work looks. Which I've never really been careless because I'm, like, a um, perfectionist, my clients tell me. I am a perfectionist, but more so it's, like there's always room for improvement so i listen to like what a lot of the other content creators that i follow they give tips and stuff like that all the time of how to make your content look better and i definitely definitely take notes boo and look we here this is the final look we 
would you guys wear these i totally would i would wear these to like a concert or just like on a regular like for a regular week of just like being a bad bitch like what's up y'all hey mm, cute as shit <sighs> this is fun um but yeah comment on this video and let me know what else you guys would like to see me do this was just random as hell <laughs> But yep, these are the nails. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe this video to see more. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye.